Hi, welcome back to Bill Sickler Room. Well, it's Sunday the 5th of March 2023, so it's the day of the auction. So I've got a few, ca well, quite a lot of fish to catch actually. Um, so eight o'clock in the morning, so start catching the fish. Uh, and yeah, get off to the auction. So quite looking forward to the one today. Should be a good turnout. Um, lots of fish booked in. Um, so yeah, should be a good one. So there's 12 lots booked in altogether. There's me and Steph number five. Um, so this is what I've got to catch. So the Freddy Starlight, the Maki Pinnis, a few Multispinosa, the Chocolate Cichlids, and the Fenestratus, and uh, any dry goods that I can find knocking around that I can throw in. So yeah, I've got my bags ready. And for the bigger fish, I've actually got some buckets so I've got another box of five as well. But the price of the buckets, um, when I bought some uh, back in November, it was £20 for 10 buckets, and now it's £20 for five buckets. So £4 a bucket, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, let's get on, catch some fish, and see how we get on. So this is the Fenestratus I've got to catch. So I'll leave them to last because they're just going in the bucket so they should be quite easy to do got the Lewis Eli again they're going in the bucket so they should be quite easy to do so these are the chocolates and the rainbows so I'll take all the decorations out of that and make it a bit easier for myself and the last ones are the Frigdies to try and catch some of those well it should be quite easy to catch actually it's only a small tank so yeah let's get on it and then um, and get done well, there's all the chocolates all caught so just got to bag them up now I, and the rainbows are caught so yeah it shouldn't take too long now to bag those up Well, we managed to get here to the auction on time. So, one box of fish and ten buckets. So, yeah, let's hope there's a good turnout and everything goes. So this is the room about 20 minutes before we're starting the auction. So yeah, lots of friends, lots of people I've not seen for a while. A uh, special thanks to everyone that come up and said hello. Um, they've been watching the YouTube channel. Um, sorry I didn't catch everybody's name. But yeah, the, if you zoom on in. So we've got Matt here. We've got new subscriber Rob. We've got poor big fish lad. We've got Ian and we've got Kevin. Oh well, just got back from the auction, good turnout, I managed to sell all my fish, so yeah, really pleased with that, and I've brought some new fish back with me, <laughs> no cichlids unfortunately, but um, yeah, it, it's, it, I've bumped into Paul there, the big fish lad, so I know he's going to do a video on the auction, a more in-depth one than what I'm able to do, obviously with helping out, the, you don't get like two minutes to actually see what's going on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if you watch out for, for Paul's one when he when he puts that one up later in the week. But yeah, let's have a look what I got. Yeah, so I've got two pairs of Corydoras Sibilis. Um, so yeah, I paid the reserve of £8 for them. So the £8 for, for two. So I've got four of them all together. So yeah, they're quite pleased with those. They, they are one of my favourite Corries, these ones with the, um, with the blue in the tail. Uh, well, they're not the tail, the, the, the back end of the fish. So, yeah, I've got those ones. Some tetras is diva fish. So this is the Priscilla tetra, so six for six pound. So yeah, quite pleased with those, so they'll do is diva fish. That's the, the other bag of the, the Corridorus. in the back. <laughs> yeah, so four of them, um, Priscilla tet Tetras. Some more of the Priscilla Tetras. So there's four in that bag for four pound. And last but not least, 
Black Widow Tetra, two for two pound. Black Scare Tetras, as they call them in the States. So yeah, the, managed to sell all my fish. Got some new ones there to put in. So this tank's actually empty. This is the one that I'm gonna be using for for breeding uh, some of them. Uh, not quite sure what to put in there yet, but yeah, so I've got some different fish for them as well. So here's the Priscilla Tetras in the new home. So I'd leave them in there for a, for a week or so to quarantine uh, before I put anything else in there with them. So they're in there and the Corridoras are in there as well, but they're obviously hiding somewhere. And yeah, there's one of the Corridoras and the, the Black Widow Tetras as well. They're hiding in there. Looks like behind that filter. Not quite pretty, the tetras. I've got a soft spot for tetras. <laughs> yeah, to all in all, good day. So thanks for watching. If you've never been to an auction, it's always worth checking out which ones are available uh, by where you live and going along. Some good bargains. But yeah, you actually spend the afternoon um, in a room full of like-minded people. Uh, so yeah, there, I think there was about 60, 70 people there today. So yeah, quite a good turnout. Um, I think most most of the stuff that was going through the auctions did sell. So yeah, the sellers will be happy. Uh, lots of bargains for the buyers. So yeah, if you've never checked one out, uh, keep an eye open and, and have a look and go along to the next one. So uh, that's about it for today. So yeah, keep well everybody and I'll see you on the next video.